Hey, Shayna, what's going on? This is Chuck from the band Simple Plan. Um, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're able to uh, stay safe and healthy during these um, weird times that we're in. Um, I wanna say thank you so much for reaching out to me. And more importantly than anything, thank you so much for being a fan of the band since 2004. Uh, if my calculations are correct, that's 17 years. Uh, that you've been supporting our band and that you've been listening uh, to our songs and that's incredible uh, that's a that's a that's a big chunk um, of your life that you've been with us uh, that you have follow uh, our band and uh, I'm just so grateful that we have fans let that like you who have been uh, there for us since basically day one and that are sticking with us and are still here today. Uh, you're the reason why we're able to do what we love the most in life, that we're able to um, you know, live our dream of being in, in, in the band and, and playing music. Um, so yeah, thank you. Just uh, so much gratitude to people like you. Um, you also, we also had the chance to meet uh, when you were 13 years old with your mom, and uh, that's really cool. I really hope that that was really early on when you just kind of discovered the band. Uh, I hope it was it was fun to hang out, and uh, I really hope that we get a chance to meet again uh, in the future when we can finally go back on the road, play shows again, and uh, just do you know go back to things that we all love doing, which you know going to concerts for us playing concerts, traveling, going on tour. So I really hope um, we can make that happen again. That would be really cool. Um, you're asking me a really great question. Actually, I rarely get asked a question like that. It's kind of interesting. My, what was my favorite album to make and why? Um, really good question. They were all awesome to make. Some of them were a lot more difficult than others. I would say that the two that kind of stand out would be the second record, um, called Still Not Getting Any. Um, and the reason why it was amazing, uh, it was multiple reasons. First of all, we were coming off of the success of our first record, No Pads, No Helmet, Just Balls, which had sold like two million records and we were young, um, you know, had so many more dreams and we were just so excited to have a chance to make a second record and to have seen just the incredible response that we had for the first record so there was a lot of confidence there was a lot of of like momentum and energy and excitement um you know in, in being in the studio we just felt like we were just getting started that we could do so much more uh we were so ambitious uh, so driven, so excited by by the songs that we had, and we just believed in 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 what we were doing. We just felt just a lot of I don't know. It was just kind of contagious. We just felt um, that we could achieve anything we wanted, you know. And it was it was just kind of really um, really exciting to be in that headspace. And I think that's the record that we wrote and the record that we recorded the fastest in our entire career. Pierre and I wrote it, I would say over less than a year, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe six months, seven months of writing. And we kept writing as we were recording. So uh, when the guys were in the other room, you know, tracking guitars or bass, we were in, in a small room in the studio and we were coming up with more songs. So it was just, it was just excitement going back and forth from the rooms and and kind of listening to what's one song that was being recorded and playing the guys like a new demo of a new song that we were um, you know that we happened to be working on at, at the time so there was a lot of, of buzz and excitement and it was very creative time for us it was really cool um like another reason why it was amazing is because we recorded in montreal uh, our hometown after traveling for two three years on the first record and not being home that much we got to spend the whole summer in Montreal uh, in the studio recording uh, downtown. And I don't know if you've been to Montreal, but in the summer, it's, um, it's such a great place to be. It was so fun. The weather was perfect. It was incredible. We would record, we would you know, go out after. We were all kind of bonding together as a band. We were you know, spending all our time together 
and you know having barbecues after uh, like the sessions and, and then going out in, in the city and coming back the next day and just working on music and being so passionate it just and being able to see our families as well and all our friends uh, that we had in the city. It, it was just a really, it was just a special summer, kind of like a dream summer. Uh, it was really cool. And one more reason why it was amazing is because uh, we got to do it with a producer called Bob Rock, who I don't know if you know him or if you're familiar with his work, but he made like the Black Album uh, for Metallica. He did um, like uh, Bon Jovi records and he was just like, he was probably one of the biggest name in, uh, in, in all of the rock producers. And he had such a great rep. People were just saying how tough he was gonna be. And we ended up becoming best of friends. He was incredible for us. He pushed us to be better, but he also didn't, you know, he didn't try to change everything. He just kind of loved the songs that we had and just made them sound huge and just like, like stadium ready, you know? Uh, it was magical to see it all happen and to be able to learn from him, to be able to spend time and just kind of hear all the stories that he had. Um, yeah, it was a magical summer. It was really, really rad. So I would say that was my, my favorite album to record and I'm so proud of it still. Every time I hear it, I, all the memories come back and it's always really special. Um, so I love that album uh, for that reason because it was so fun to make. And I would say a close second might have been the fourth album, Get Your Heart On. Um, we had so much fun. We also, um, I think we were also in Montreal for a good portion of it. And then we moved to Vancouver to finish it. And we worked with, with a producer who became also a great friend, uh, named, uh, a guy named Brian House. Um, he was awesome. We had fun. It took forever to make that record, but for a long time, the band, we were in Vancouver and it's also a great city that we love and we would go hiking, you know, and we would, uh, just, we had to spend a lot of time together because it took forever to record the album and it was really cool. We got to, even though we knew each other really well, we got to know each other even better, spending all that time together and being in such a rad city that Vancouver is, um, yeah, it was really special. So I would say those were my two favorite albums to make. Um, I hope that uh, that answers your question. And again, uh, Shana, thank you so much, so much for all the support and for being a fan for so long. I really, really appreciate it. And hopefully we'll see you at the show really soon when we can play. <laughs> all right, take care.